everyone welcome to this update video i hope you're doing really great this morning we're going to be talking about what is going on across the uh, caribbean what is expected over the course of the next couple of days because that significant rainfall event should come to fruition and some areas may experience significant flooding due to it for now we're definitely seeing some thunderstorms and even some rain is uh, in parts of the northern bahamas uh offshore florida most of that is moving out now and even a bit of activity around parts of the northern caribbean cuba the bahamas near jamaica hispaniola as well and then look into the lesser antilles we can also see that there is some activity a lot of cloud cover maybe with a few showers moving by at times but as we zoom back out uh, looking offshore africa we can see that cluster of activity and some of the models were showing some of this kind of holding and uh, making its way to the west so let's see what happens throughout this week if that's going to happen but if that should it could be a source of rain for some areas but the main focus for this week is going to be that area of low pressure that is going to result in a substantial rainfall increase in the caribbean but let's talk about the short term for today we can see some colorful shadings around parts of the northern bahamas even near the turks and caicos islands as well uh, some of those green shadings for parts of Cuba, Jamaica, the Cayman Islands as well, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands. So there could be some shower activity and even some thunderstorms in some areas today. Maybe not as much rain for the Lesser Antilles uh, and ABC Islands as well. Down to Northern South America, it will be active in some areas as usual and parts of Central America such as Panama and Costa Rica. And uh, even headed towards the vicinity of Guatemala and El Salvador as well even a few spots in belize may experience some showers today however what is going to unfold as we head into the next several days let's look at what three models have to show as it relates to the rainfall accumulation through friday morning and we're kickstarting with euro so the more color we see more rain is expected and this is the accumulation again it's not all expected in one day so from now and to the start of friday this is what is expected we can see those pink shadings in some spots representing rainfall amounts up to three and a half or even four inches and some of those burgundy shadings for parts of southern haiti and even the dominican republic as well maybe for even a, a few spots in jamaica cuba so we can see that some of these areas may experience rainfall amounts that uh go up to say two inches or so in accumulation as we're going to be heading into the next couple of days let's look at what the gfs has to show gfs is expecting a lot more rain and it shows the highest totals offshore but definitely shows that southern hispaniola so parts of southern haiti and the dominican republic could experience some significant rainfall probably rainfall amounts up to four inches in some spots not as much for jamaica being seen here based on what gfs is forecasting but we also see areas such as puerto rico and the virgin islands within that red going to the burgundy shade and so maybe rainfall amounts up to two inches or so and even for some spots in cuba and then we've got the icon model so the icon model is showing that there's definitely going to be a lot of rain in parts of jamaica probably a mountain up to four or even five inches in some of the eastern parishes and then it shows uh, some of those high rainfall totals again for parts of southern hispaniola the southernmost part of hispaniola so there we can see a bit of variation among our models but generally they are expecting a lot of rain in the region over the course of the next couple of days again that system that air flow pressure it is not yet forming but it is going to by tomorrow on tuesday we should start to see things uh getting active in the south caribbean so that is what is expected to unfold but in terms of seeing developments become of that area of low pressure trying to form gfs has been sniffing at it it has been expecting that uh we're, we, we could see something try to develop out of it but that will all be dependent on whether the environment is favorable or not but i'm not so concerned about development because guess what we don't need development for a significant uh, rainfall event for some damage to be done it can be a little trough moving through and it unleashes a lot of rain and it brings the effects that would be reminiscent of a tropical cyclone so i'm not so concerned about it developing but i'm more concerned about the fact that an increase in moisture is expected which could lead to a uh, significant flooding across many areas so again guys uh, i'm going to keep you posted on what is going on 
and then finally that saharan dust is around so i want to show you guys the forecast that's the final thing we're looking at for this video and here we can see as we're going to be heading through today it is going to be reaching areas such as jamaica so it's still in the region the dust plume is still around without a doubt and then it is going to be uh, persistent in parts of the north caribbean through much of the week but eventually dissipates as we head towards the end of the week so we're going to be seeing things become a bit hazy in parts of jamaica uh, also going to be hazy in the, uh, in the dominican republic and puerto rico although for puerto rico things should really start clearing up tomorrow then for cuba the cayman islands it should remain a bit dusty and we see a little bit still coming into parts of the southeastern caribbean and a lot offshore of the african coast so just wanted to share that with you guys the dust is still around but you know the main focus is going to be that rainfall increase but i'll keep you posted as per usual that's what i do best and uh, thank you so much for watching this video and i really do hope you found it to be very informative however if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments i'll respond to you when i get the chance to do so and remember to always be weatherwise